Hello Flatties and Globe Defenders, it's Critical Thing from Down Under here and I'm at Byron Bay, Cape Byron and we'll move around so you can see the lighthouse there in the background. Yes, that was me at Byron Bay and now I'm sitting on the beach at Phuket. Well, <laughs> no, I'm not really sitting on the beach at Phuket, but um, it sure looks like it. I thought I'd show that this uh, scene I took at Phuket, lovely scene on the beach, seen as this video is about Phuket Word. So a little bit of reminiscing from my visit there. Now, sometimes flat earthers propose experiments, and uh, but most of the time they're silly experiments and uh, based on incorrect science. Uh, for example, the taking a spirit level onto an aeroplane is not a valid test because the result will be the same whether you're globe or flat earth. But the flat earthers don't seem to understand that. Another test, you can show that a mobile phone always shows level no matter where you are in the world. Now, that doesn't prove a flat earth either. And... Um, but anyway, every now and then uh, a flat earther will screw up and propose an experiment that we can do. But um, every now and then they'll really screw up and do an experiment that proves the globe. For example, Bob Nodell and the 15 degrees per hour and Jaron and his interesting moment. But they just seem to shrug it off and carry on as if nothing has happened. Now this is not the one that I'm going to try and do because this is again and one of those experiments that's impossible to do. I think flat earthers like to have impossible to do experiments because then they can continue to feel comfortable in their flat earth belief because in their mind they think that nobody has uh, proven the globe because they haven't done their invalid experiment. Now this one is not so invalid, but it's almost impossible to do. I have done a virtual run of this experiment, but I guess that would go over Flatty's head as well. So, um, like I said, sometimes they'll screw up. And Antonio Subarats did screw up, and he proposed this red tube experiment, which I uh, went and did at Byron Bay. And you can see the results of that in a couple of other videos there I have. Um, but this here, uh, Phuket Word did propose another experiment, one that isn't, oh, isn't so easy to do, but it's possible with a bit of work. So uh, what did he propose? Let's hear a little bit here. So that we can compare what should happen to shadows if the sun is going down below the curve of a globe with the table edge representing the edge of the globe and then with the sun just getting farther and farther away as it does on the flat earth. So there you go. If the uh, Earth is flat, a shadow would never get higher than the object. And uh, you did notice there that he's got the uh, shadow, the shadow on the wall there. <coughs> and so he's saying that represents the edge of the globe casting a shadow on the wall. Now it's a bit difficult to get a wall, but um, hey, uh, you just wait and see what we've got further on. itself so you can make this observation absolutely anywhere in a city on the beach in the countryside a tree a post a stick in the ground a building a statue whatever yes but it would be my suggestion that you don't try and do it inside i mean there's no sun inside. You call it an experiment, but you haven't gone outside to do it? Hmm.
So, you said whatever. So, um, Bobby Shafto has set this up outside. And um, we will, in a little while, see the result. But first, let's look at how we should interpret the results. Just to make sure. If the shadow of the object never goes any higher than the object itself, then you know the sun is just getting farther and farther away. If you see the shadow go higher than the object itself, you know the sun is going down below the curvature of the earth. So he's pretty clear about that. If you see the shadow go above the object, the world's a globe. The sun's going down over the curve. Uh, very plainly put. So when Bobby Shafto did this, there he goes. He's got the shadow at sunset in his apparatus has gone above the level. So it's gone above the object. Just like in Phuket's uh, demonstration there inside his house, Bobby Shafto's managed to do this outside. So there you go, Phuket. Word, Mr. Phuket, word. I've got something for you. <laughs> right. Now... <clears throat> That's not all. I mean, there would be a lot of argument from flat earthers about this very experiment. They'll try to say that it's not level and, and stuff like that. We know how you work. Don't worry about that. Bobby Shafto is very good, very careful as an experiment. You can go watch his video. You can see um, he didn't make a mistake. But anyway, we know how you are. So we've got something else as well. Now... Like I said, it's a bit hard to get a wall that you can show the sun going over the curvature of the earth. But as luck would have it, nature sometimes puts up a wall. In this case, it's a cloud bank that reaches up into the sky several thousand feet. Now, there is um, some mountains, not very high. They're about 300 metres to the west and so when the sun goes down below that, um, the shadow actually goes quite high, several thousand feet into the air, as you will see on this time-lapse video, which I've slowed down a little bit so you could see it. So just like that shadow on the wall in Phuket Word's house, this one, this one climbs, this shadow from the west climbs up into the clouds so you can see that I'll play it again it's not just that clump of cloud in the middle there's another clump of cloud to the side there and don't expect a clear and crisp um, shadow I mean we're several several kilometers at uh, probably 30 or so kilometres away from the mountain, so it's not going to be a clearly cut, straight-line shadow like the one on Phuket Word's wall, where he's only a few inches and away from the wall, so the, the light source will cast a sharp shadow. So this is not a sharp shadow, but it's a shadow nevertheless that is climbing as the sun goes down below the curvature of the earth. Just like Pookie Pie said. And if that's not enough, I've got something else. Now there's a lovely shot. Sun shining underneath the clouds at sunset. And um, you can watch the shadow from the curvature of the earth head off to the west. I'll just play that. Ah, wonderful, isn't it? like to see that again we'll just stop that there and look at that look at that 
the shadow just does head off to the west. Now, how are you going to do that if the sun is just going away in the distance? That's a clear shadow from the curvature of the earth there, retreating across the sky to the west. So that pretty much nails it for that experiment. <coughs> so we can go over that one more time, the criteria for the experiment. If the shadow of the object never goes any higher than the object itself, then you know the sun is just getting farther and farther away. If you see the shadow go higher than the object itself, you know the sun is going down below the curvature of the earth. There you have it. You know that the sun is going down below the curvature of the earth. So thanks, uh, Phuket Word, for giving us that experiment. And you can get to enjoy this just a little bit more. Ha, 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 ha.